live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. A local family continuing their call for justice. In the past two hours, loved ones gathered to remember 44-year-old Carlos Jones in Lackawanna. He was killed in June of last year and still no one has been arrested. Mr. Jax reporter Eric Albany joins us live in Arlington where Jones was killed. Eric, this is the second Thanksgiving gathering in which the family says they still don't have closure. Yeah, it's a very sad thing to think about, you know, going, through, knowing what they're going through. Now, 44-year-old Carlos Jones was shot and killed here inside the University Place apartment complex back in June of last year. And so far, um, what led up to the shooting remains unclear. And police have not been able to uh, make an arrest, let alone identify a suspect in this case. Now, uh, Jones's family says this is the second Thanksgiving holiday in a row in which they have gathered without him. His daughter, Tanisha, says, that until her father's killer is captured, the family will never have closure. They're hoping someone out there has information that could help police track down a suspect. If anyone has, you know, any information on my father's death, uh, we do, you know, have a $5,000 reward. So if you come forward, then the reward obviously would be granted to you. Um, you know, we just want peace. We want closure. Again, like he said, this is the second year that my father hasn't been there for us. Uh, here in Thanksgiving, and I know that other people have lost their loved ones and all, you know, as well. Now, police say the gunman who shot and killed Jones got away in a car, but so far, no one has been able to give an accurate description of the type of car uh, that was used in the incident. Later tonight, more on the search for Jones's killer. Also, what family members are doing to encourage less gun violence here in Jacksonville. Reporting live in Arlington, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.